and when he called me to tell me that he was getting married and that I was going to be his best man, he told me, his words not mine, do not hold back. So, for whatever's got to happen, I don't even know what's going to happen. This is on you, bro. So, I did write a speech. Um, my mother, being my mother, did not trust my abilities and wrote me some cue cards to give me some hints and, I guess, tips, some nice things to say, you know, uh, about saying just as it is. I've not read these, so I just thought, why not read these? You put a lot of effort into them. <clears throat> Let's see here. As a youth, Clayton was a frustrating child. Seems like there should be a butt <laughs> Definitely seems like there should be a butt today. If you're looking for the butt, look at Clayton. Okay, <laughs> your problem now. Oh. <laughs> well, you know, can't take her anywhere. Let's see what else is No refunds accepted. Mm. Okay. There is no helpline. Okay. This one says, ha ha, I'm free, ha ha. Okay. <laughs> You're done with that. All right. Cannot take that woman anywhere. Okay. Um, to be honest, though, there were some there were some points in those cards. Though he was kind of frustrated. I remember the uh, the first time that I was frustrated at Clayton that I can remember is we were driving a car, uh, my entire family, and we drove by a Corvette dealership. <laughs> <laughs> and he proudly announced, as a not seven year old, he proudly announced to my entire family, including both my parents, that we had all mispronounced Corvette, and instead it was pronounced Corvette. You're all wrong. I'm, I'm about three years younger, so I was, I was about three or four years old, and I wanted to slam him so badly. <laughs> but that, uh, that theme continued through our lives. So you wanted to slap my brother. No, I, I must not say hi to hi every time. Um, and we had fights, um, you know, quite, quite a bit. Um, you know, he would win some, you know, I sometimes, well, I didn't really win any, but you know, it doesn't bother me that I, you know, I kept count, but you know, there's no rage deep down inside here. <laughs> the nice thing about Clayton is that we laughed a lot more. And one, this is the only story I'll tell, besides the first one. Um, Clayton. This is my first memory of us laughing and so hard we cried again. Um, Clayton decided to play baseball. We played baseball quite a bit in the house. And he grabbed the baseball bat and a giant tub of Barbie dolls. And we ran upstairs into an abandoned empty room that we had up, upstairs. And uh, he grabbed the bat and he said, pitch me a Barbie doll. <laughs> what? Okay, whatever. He's the boss. He's three years older than me. I was about five, so he was about eight or nine years old. I pitched him a Barbie doll, and boy, did he get behind that Barbie doll. When he hit it, the head, both legs, and both arms popped right off. Now, to a five-year-old and a nine-year-old, there is nothing funny. There is nothing funny than a Barbie doll disintegrating when it gets hit by a bat. So we did this, and we just cried. Just cried. Just tears. Our shirts were getting wet. We were crying so much laughing. And we heard pounding up the stairs. Uh-oh. Immediately we stopped laughing, and we heard our father's voice. Boys, what are you doing? <laughs> and we're standing there, terrified that he's going to walk up the last three stairs and see the genocide of Barbie dolls that we have right after. <laughs> and my brother, not being a liar, but trying to placate my father, said, we're playing baseball with Barbie dolls. <laughs> and my father went, Okay then. <laughs> Went down the stairs and we continued to, you know, destroy our sister's things. <laughs> but things like that happen so much um, for Clay and I, and, and we really, you know, we had there were some rough benches, you know, um, but uh, you know a lot of a lot of good times too. So, you know, all jokes aside, Clay, I'm very proud of you and I love you dearly, 
and uh, I'm very, um, I'm very uh, excited to see where you're going to go, you know, in this relationship and how God's going to use you guys um, to be a witness and a light um, in Honduras and here in Alabama and wherever you guys go. So, uh, Mary, you got a good guy and girl, and you guys are going to go far. So, um, I would roast you, Mary, but I'm going to let Mary do that. <laughs>